Welcome to the tutorial on how to find GHS classification information in eCAM Portal. eCAM Portal is the global portal to information on chemical substance. It allows simultaneous searching of reports and datasets by chemical name and number, by chemical property and by GHS classification. Direct links to collections of chemical hazards and risk information prepared for government chemical review programs at national, regional and international levels are obtained. You can perform different search in eCAM portal. Search by chemical substance that can be filtered by type of information, search by chemical property and search by GHS classification. In this video tutorial I will first explain how to find GHS information through the substance search. Then I will talk about the search by classification. In order to find GHS classification information for individual substance, one way to proceed is to perform a substance search. From the home page, click on the substance search on the top or on the left column. and then click on the filter by type of information. On this search page, enter the chemical number or name, deselect all the types of information and select the GHS classification type. Automatically, all the database linked to eCAM portal containing GHS information will be selected. As you may see, currently 11 databases provide GHS classification and labeling information, independent of whether the classifications have undergone a review by a regulatory body or intergovernmental organization or are based on self-classifications by the producers or importers. Please note that although the database contains GHS information, some records may not. Once you have selected the GHS classification type of information, you may narrow your search by deselecting specific database. After clicking on Search, click on the Overall Query Result link to go to the Result page. On this page, a table lists all the results from the participating database that have GHS classification and labeling information. This includes the two current data sources that have submitted structured information to eCAM portal so it can be viewed and searched directly through eCAM portal. Data sources thereby participating to the eCAM portal GHS search contain only GHS classification information harmonized at a national or regional level and are tagged with a GHS icon in the results table. You may view the GHS classification in eCAM portal by clicking on that GHS icon. Or you may access to more information by clicking on the result icon. This will open the substance information page in the corresponding database. The other data source contain classification and labeling information for substance, whether harmonized or self-classified. You may access additional information by clicking on the result icon. For example, I will access the data in HSNO CCID. It opens in a new window. There, I see all the information on the chemical identification and the classification. The 
The second part of our tutorial will focus on how to find classification and labeling information harmonized at a regional or national level through the GHS classification search. Currently, two data sources have submitted structured GHS information to ECAM portal, so it can be viewed and it can be searched directly in ECAM portal. Please note that these classifications have undergone a review by a regulatory body or intergovernmental organization. The classification and labeling inventory of the European Chemicals Agency and the GHS classification results by the Japanese government. You may access the GHS search from the home page by clicking on GHS search on the top or on the left column. There, one possibility is to search for a specific substance. The second is to search directly by classification. I will first explain how to perform a GHS search for a specific substance. On the GHS search page, you enter a chemical name or number in the search field and click on search. You arrive on a page where you click on the overall query results link to go to the result page containing two tables. The first table displays directly all the harmonized reviewed classification and labeling information from the two participating data sources providing structured GHS information. The classification categories and danger labels are displayed. Clicking on the result icon will give you access to additional information in the corresponding database. It opened in a new page. Back to the result page, you can see the second table below, named Other Classification and Labeling Information. This table displays the results from all the other data sources that don't provide structured GHS data to ECAM portal, but contain classification and labeling information for the substance, whether harmonized or self-classified. There again, in order to access additional information in the database, you may click on the result icon. This will open the wanted page in the database in the new window. The second possibility to access structured classification and labeling information harmonized at a regional or national level is to search directly by classification. For this, you don't specify any substance, but you select the classification of your interest in the query block. First, click Add a query block, then you select the classification in your list. I select, for example, Acute Toxicity Oral. Then click Add. You may now either click on Search to access the information or you can combine several query blocks to find multiple classifications. I choose to add a second classification and labeling endpoints and I select Acute Toxicity Dermal. I add. As you may see, I can change the operator to have AND, OR, or NOT. I leave the operator on AND and I click on Search.
In the result page, you will have all the chemicals having the classification and labeling relevant to your search. And in this example, that have at least dermal and oral acute toxicity classification, harmonize at a regional or national level. If you wish to modify your search, click on Classification and Labeling Search on the top to go back to your search. If you click on the back arrow of your navigator, you will lose the search fields that you have already selected. By clicking on Classification and Labeling Search, you keep your query blocks. There, you can modify your search by changing the operator here or removing or adding query blocks. Before clicking on search, you may save your query by clicking on the icon. This will download your query. Later, you will have the possibility to reload your query without having to refill all the fields. Once you are satisfied with your search results, you may wish to download your results in a CSV or Excel format. It is possible by clicking on the link on the top of the result page. Thank you for your attention.